Ron, Ron, and Fez. Fez. 1027 WNEW. <laughs> Tribute to Al Deuce. Very Thank nice, you. Paul. Nice work. Where's Paul uh, appearing at? Uh, he's got something to plug this weekend, Al? I don't have that info. I'll get it. You you do what for the show? You prep it. Produce it. Produce it. Yeah, you don't prep it. Prep it? Run and get it from <laughs> Billy. I, I, I asked him the plug. I prep it. What's that mean? He's never <laughs> prepped anything in his life. I don't understand that one at all. Where is he appearing, Al? Al's crazy from the heat. He really is. He's going to be at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, Friday at 9.30, Saturday at 8 and 10.30. Number is 201-727-1090. All right, go see him this weekend. It's always going to be funny. Paul Bond doing the comedy. What's the name of the place again? Bananas. Where? Hasbro Heights, there New Jersey. Is. Thank you very much. Does the heat got to you, Al? You're not yourself? He's crazy for the heat, Ronnie. You called it. Is this the uh, worst job in the heat, being a, a prepper? prepper? <laughs> You're a prep cook. Dr. Prepper? What does prepping mean? I have no idea what you say. <laughs> like preparing the show to go on the air and that preparing sort of stuff. Preparing the show? You didn't even have the phones in front of me tonight. <laughs> There's two uh, ONA's national phone line is in my way. So as I'm doing the show, I'm tugging around this. And during that last commercial break, I'm like, well, there's a minute left. Has anyone found Paul's song? No. <laughs> what would be your worst job in the heat, really? I would say a lifeguard. Lifeguard. Probably the best job in the heat, Fuzzy. <laughs> no, you're sitting out there in the and sun the pounds sun down on you. In a bathing day. suit, and then you swim. Right, and you have that big giant umbrella. Right. You're right next to the water. There's How? no better job on a day like today than a lifeguard. You actually get to go wear suntan lotion to yeah. your job. But the sun's beating right down on you. You are not. You just heard Fez, you're under an umbrella. You're under an umbrella. You get to wear a bathing suit and you're talking like to, no other job. And you're talking with chicks that want to bang you. Right. It's the greatest job in history. Yeah, and then someone gets attacked by a shark, and they expect you to go in and pull the guy out. How often does that happen? Once, I bet, I bet most lifeguards, I'll bet ninety some percent have never been around a uh, shark attack. It seems like it's in the paper all the time now here. Yes, there's been a lot of shark attacks recently. Do you know how many lifeguards are in the country? A lot. Yeah, and how many shark attack a year? Not that many, probably. Right. Thank you. Well, you just told me it happens every day. Now, if you're talking about that guy from Queens who got his leg bit off, that was in the Bahamas. Right. Not exactly. <laughs> Normal shark attack thing. What was the whole beef about that, too? I saw his wife on TV for a second last night. Right. Uh, Krishna Thompson was the guy who went out. They were in the Bahamas for their 10th anniversary. Right. He gets up for an early morning swim on the beach. He starts getting b eaten by a shark. Right. He punches this thing, Ronnie. He's going nuts. He's letting it have it. Yeah. Pulls himself on shore, and then, with before he passes out, writes his hotel room number in the sand, so they know how to contact his wife. Oh yeah, I saw that. He's right. like a hero. Right. So the wife comes. They tell the wife 
They said, your husband needs help immediately. We need you to come down to the beach. His wife, Ave Maria, right. heads down to the beach. She thinks, anniversary surprise. No. I swear. He, she thinks he set up something, and this is just a call to get her down on the beach. She sees him down there with a mangled leg. Now she's upset. She's on the news saying none of the lifeguards would come help her husband, Krishna. He had to fight his own way out of right. the uh, lifeguard thing? Yeah, that he was out there screaming for help, and no one would come to help him. Why not? Well, they say the lifeguards at that resort yeah. are saying a completely different story. Yes, yeah. we did help him. They're all young guys. Who's going to go in if they see a shark, like, <laughs> ripping a guy's leg off? A lifeguard would be the guy who went in. Yes. To get that man back on shore. What did the fireman just tell us? What did the New York fireman tell us? We run in as others run out. That's a life. This is when you need a lifeguard. Yeah. When a shark is attacked. The lifeguards could have the same slogan except you're, uh, you know, changing water and fire around. Yeah, but when it comes right down to it and you see a shark ripping a guy's limbs off, what could he do? He pulls the guy out of the water. But then the shark and saves him. gets him. You, why, what about a riptide? There's another dangerous situation. If you're a lifeguard, you're not diving in into a riptide to save a kid? Yeah, I mean, if you can do it where it's safe for you. No, it's not safe. A guy's being drugged underwater. A lifeguard goes into the water and pulls that guy out. You can't be a lifeguard and never go into the water, Al Duke. You, if you're a fireman, you'd only put out field fires. <laughs> oh, I don't go into the houses. But if there's, uh, you know, a fire out in the field somewhere, I'll squirt it down. Right. Al, if Al was a fireman, he'd put out candles. That would be about it. You need a candle put out? That lifeguard, if you take the job as a lifeguard, you got to go in and save those people. Yeah, think, of, I, think of the name of the job. Lifeguard. Right, you're guarding <laughs> lives. Yeah, but if it's safe for them to go in and pull someone out, then great. But if there's a shark right there ripping the guy, there's... That's when so they're just needed. let him get eaten? You That's the time. That they, you don't think they know what to do if a shark's out there? Not That's really. That's like saying to a cop, oh, I can't go save those kids. There's someone shooting over there. Right. A cop goes and saves. If he can be safe when he goes to save them. All right, now you're driving me nuts. So this guy in the Bahamas said he had to go swim to the lifeguards. The lifeguards wouldn't come to him. <laughs> That's so funny. But here's the thing. The lifeguards guys... in the Bahamas, they probably can't swim. <laughs> you got four Rastafarians <laughs> high as hell. <laughs> the dreads will sink in a minute. Here's uh, somebody who says they uh, are a lifeguard. Oh, okay. What's this name? Fuzzy, I hate to, you know. Is it Adida? Is Adida. That you, is that where you go with this? I think you got that Hey, one. Adida, you run around the fist. Hi. Hi, uh, Adida. I was a New York City lifeguard for six years, and I can tell you that at least being a New York City lifeguard is oh, a horrible job. Were you a pool lifeguard? Yeah, it was yeah. at a pool. I and mean, first, they, should they even be considered lifeguards? <laughs> well, pool some of the attendees. Po that's more like security guard. No, <laughs> some of the pools are huge. Do you know Astoria pool? That's like the size of a football field. So, but you're going to get more rapes than you yeah, actually they do. Get, right. You know, any grab ass is that's the biggest true. problem that's than true. sharks. But the I was a, um, a lifeguard. It was like a mini pool, so it was like a kiddie pool, and it's in the middle of the ghetto, and. It's a three-foot pool, and you wouldn't even want to go in because all the kids pee in the water by the end of the day. It's, like, now disgusting. Now I'm starving. Now I'm starving. <laughs> Why? No, no reason. I want something salty. <laughs> and it's just salty horrible. Nuts. What were you looking like? Were the kids always hitting on you? Yeah. Grabbing well, not ass? the kids. The kids, like, older brothers right. or the perverts hanging out in the park smoking pot. Yesterday, right. I walked down by the pool in my neighborhood, yeah. Yeah. The, the public pool there, and the uh, blonde lifeguard lady was sitting up in her chair at the public pool there, and these little prepubescent boys were just all around her, and I'm thinking, there's no way she's going to dive in and save a kid <laughs> because everyone else has her attention. All right, the... Uh... Uh, the instant feedback completely blowing me out here, Fe Fezzi. People are mad at me. Here's no some way. of these people who are saying, Hey, Ron, lifeguards are only trained to clear the water if there's a shark, not command him like Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elias says, He's a lifeguard making 15 bucks an hour for crying out loud. What the hell is he going to do against a shark? you got to jump in and save those No, guys. you wouldn't. First of all, when you... in you would never go do something that would, you know, take you... If you're supposed to be saving someone, right. Right, you can't do anything that's going to put you your life in danger also. So they're the, not going to... Well, what are we, all afraid of sharks? You jump... <laughs> if I'm on the... If I'm walking down the beach... Yes. I see a shark as somebody, I'm jumping in to help. This guy... What am I going to do, cry? This guy without a leg fought off this shark himself. 
you know, you have one extra guy out are, there. Are they lifeguards or life pussies? <laughs> Get in there. Is that a title? I don't care who you are. You, if you see somebody being bit by a shark on the beach, you got to jump in and try to stick your thumb in that shark's eye. You got to punch him on the nose. You don't sit there. A human being doesn't let that happen to another person. Now, Adita, do you get trained to be a beach lifeguard and a pool lifeguard at well, the same time? In, well, if you're a New York City lifeguard, you can pick whether you want to work at the beaches or the pools. I didn't want to work at the beaches because, you know, the New York City beaches leave a lot to be desired. Jeez, so something's wrong with you, honey. You're just like self-hating. <laughs> she don't want to save people. She don't want to. She hates kids. What are you doing now, Diddy? Well, now I have a real job. What are you doing? I work in publishing. Oh, nice. I got a book idea for you. <laughs> All right, don't tell anybody this, right? Okay. I call it Murder at the Super Bowl. Murder at the Super Bowl. Yeah. What do you think of that? Sounds great. Get one of your writers. Yeah, get one of your writers to work on that, and I'll split the money with them 50-50. <laughs> okay. For just having the title? This title's <laughs> unbelievable, Fez. That title makes me want to buy the book, and I haven't even written it yet. All right, talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Lifeguards. Now they don't. What about what's all this talk about shark repellent? Can a lifeguard just grab some shark repellent <laughs> and go in the water and repel that shark? Spray him right in his fat face. I hear some more of the instant feedbacks. Uh, cheese steak thinning. Now, oh, damn, I'm starving. Al, you're killing me with this. He says, if I was a lifeguard, I'd just feel really, really sad. <laughs> Here's Al says, uh, 42nd delay, said he, uh, Al would understand if Bon Jovi had written a song about lifeguards. <laughs> now, I don't understand what uh, Adidas said about, you know, don't go in the water if you're going to risk your own life as well. If somebody's out there drowning, you run the risk of them pulling you under in their panic. So you just let everyone just sit out there and drown? Don't they have those little flotation devices, like they like use on Baywatch? On, yeah, on Baywatch. But Baywatch is kind of based on real stuff, only they don't run that slow. Right. So I mean, I don't think any of them ever swim in without that flotation device. Mm -hmm. But I don't see how any human being is going to look out, see a shark gnawing on a guy, and not think, "What the f? This ain't, this ain't happening on my watch. <laughs> I'm not going to let it happen." What's it, what is there sort of animal uh, chain of command that they will go in the water? Yeah, for? they'll help you if, with a stingray. Yeah, if someone gets bit by a jellyfish, someone gets one of those stingers in them, will they go in against the horrid jellyfish? What about a giant clam? If that <laughs> traps a kid, you want to go down there, try to open its ass? Mm, giant clam. I just, oh, me too. Can we get some clams in here, please? Frank, you're nice on life How you doing? Nice to be a lifeguard. It's Mediterranean Towers, and. Uh, when we got hired, the, the slogan was, we get paid for what we might have to do. All right. And, you know, it's a great job. Yeah. She do have to work. And All right. What happens, Frank? You're out there. I wish our job had a slogan. You see a shark attack. Do you try to help? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, don't, sure. see how any, I don't see how anyone on the beach would not go, what the hell can I do to help? Here. I don't know. You have to do that. That's, you know, it's part of the job. And, I mean, actually, down the Jersey Shore, my friend was a, a guard down there, and, uh, Bluefish. Actually, someone got bit by a bluefish, really? which is actually just as bad as a shark. Well, almost. Cause yeah, pretty big, you know? yeah, if you're I mean, a like flounder. out of his calf. I can't imagine a bluefish bite would be as bad as a, you know, a great whale. Well, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but then again, most of the sharks you know, the around Jersey here... the Jersey guys are telling their bluefish story. <laughs> oh, that was a bluefish off Wildwood one year. Son of a bitch must have been three feet long. <laughs> Had no fear of man. Wait a minute, let's get this straight. You're going in the water? Blue fishes in the water. <laughs> All right, thanks, Frankie. So, All Frank, right, you say care. you say any lifeguard worth his salt would do it, right? Sure. Uh, any anyone that's a lifeguard would definitely do this. All right, thanks. All right. So there you go, Al. But if he gets hurt, he or she gets hurt trying to help, then that makes the situation worse. <laughs> yes, obviously, we don't want more people getting hurt, but a human being has to try and help another human being. Yeah, I agree with that. As long as it's that person doesn't get hurt in the process uh what would you do if a shark is attacking a kid and you're standing on the beach i'd run to get 911 what 911 right. would say i can't go in there according to your laws right what's 911 gonna do that you the lifeguard won't well they have more more what they got shark uh guns what do they have <laughs> just they would just be a man like yourself just more practice mm -hmm. with that sort of thing. Why no? They practice on, on shark bites. All right. This week's going to be <laughs> shark practice.
Everyone line up for shark practice. What do they do? Tie a fin to a German shepherd and pretend it's shark practice? I'm sure they have different things that they do. Oh, to... I don't want to go through this. <laughs> get, I got a I got a heat headache right now from you, and I'm starving. Mm. Hey, is this shark repellent just a myth? I would love to have something some. on Batman. I'll tell you what, I'd love to have some, and I'd use it every time I went in the ocean <laughs> or in a pool, just to keep the other kids away. Just spraying a big circle all around you, Dinah. You're on Ronifez. Hey, Dinah. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hi. Go ahead, dear. Fezzy. Yes, dear. Do you know that you don't need pools anymore? All the colored kids are out in the fire hydrant outside of the house. White people are so scared of black Hello. people. Dinah, colored kids, where are you calling from, 1957? Uh-huh. But they're in the fire hydrant. I come upstairs to take a nice cold shower. Hey, if you go to Selma, they'll actually turn the hoses on them. <laughs> Yeah, but there's no pressure now. I don't know whether to call the cops or throw a goddamn bar of soap out the window. White well, people are so scared of black people. Uh, thank you, honey. I'm about to open up a hydrant myself. You're going to get Ani DeFranco on this show if you call in with your racisms. Hey, Linda, Linda, you're on Ronnie Fest. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi Hello. What's good um, for you? I agree that what is a lifeguard going to be able to do? I mean, when you go into you the pull... forest, a forest ranger has a rifle. Right. A, a cop has a gun against a dog. What do they have, a speedo? You pull the guy out of the water. The shark is not eating him. It's just biting him. Right. Also, also it's going to take him how long to get to the guy. It probably took him only about 60 seconds right, before the guy got... was back in shore. No, they said the guy had to fight him off himself and no one was trying to help him. That's right. The... That's the guy's complaint. That's the story. I don't see what the lifeguard could have done. Yeah, you can swim the... out, hit that damn uh, shark on the nose, put your thumb in his eye, and pull this guy up and guard his life. No, not going to work. How is he going to guard his life? He's going to get eaten also. You know what to do? You and Al stand on the uh, <laughs> beach, blow whistles, and wet yourself. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do it, Ron. No, I don't think they're going to <laughs> Show me how you would yell for help while you're wetting yourself, Al. All right, so, all right, there comes the shark. Yeah. All right. Shark attack. Someone call 911. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Nobody would even look at you, you boring bastard. I just go 911, 911. <laughs> I would say that someone leave the phone off the hook. I hear a monotone <laughs> dial tone. <laughs> I just keep yelling like, shark. All right, stop it. You're driving me nuts. I wish it was like the Red Lobster commercial. Shark, let's get him. And the whole crowd goes in the water. Thanks for bringing up Red Lobster, Fez. You know how starving I am tonight? I'm starving. I'm so starving. We got anything else? No food. How can we be this foodless? You know, I order something, but hearing about people sweating in food is... <laughs> you know, I'm trapped between two worlds here. I don't know what to do. I might wet myself and blow whistles. It's the only thing I can think of to get out of this. Food attack. Patrick, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, hey Patrick. How are you tonight? We're calling the gang, my friend. I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. I spent 13 years as a lifeguard down in the southern New Jersey coastline, and one of the things they talked about with us was that uh, there was a study out of California done by California lifeguards, and 95% of the time when lifeguards or rescuers enter the water during a shark attack, yeah. they scare off the shark just by entering the water. Right. And the other 5% of the time, the shark continued to attack the original victim. There have been no reports of cases where the rescuer was attacked by the shark. So if you're a lifeguard, you go in anyway. Now, I was down on the Jersey Shore and where I worked. We normally took a boat if they were that far out. You see what he's mm -hmm. saying, Al? You're completely safe. Mm -hmm. Right, because the shark's just smelling the blood of the victim. He's but, not going to go looking for new blood if he's got that got body. Much. But I heard that sharks, they see shadows, and as soon as they would see another shadow... They never do. You never hear of a shark biting two people, do you? Because they're biting people by accident. Because they bump into them. But if you're getting close you enough... Swim, here's what I want you to do. Swim out there with an oxygen tank, put it in his mouth, and then shoot that thing when he comes at you. That's all you got to do. I'd like to say uh, Al Young, three barrels. He just took down three barrels. <laughs> all right, thanks, Patrick. Sure, good luck. Three yeah. barrels. Three barrels. Someone call 911. Shark attack. Come on, seriously yell like you're yelling for help, Al. Like you could do some help. Shark attack, 911. God. Why are you just yelling in fragments? 
Why aren't you using sentences to alert the people is what I don't understand. To try to be clear. <laughs> and to not clutter it up with full, you know, if you're sh shouting a whole bunch of stuff, people wouldn't know what I'm saying. Why wetting yourself at that point? <laughs> I'm blowing your whistle. Hey, uh, Bonnie. Bonnie, you're on run of us. Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Uh, how you guys doing? We're cool, baby. I used to be a lifeguard at a wimpy little lake, and we were equipped with a boat, a surfboard, all kinds of stuff to go out to save victims. I think in the ocean you got jet skis and whatnot, and I think you're absolutely right. Run you a could. jet ski into that shark's head. I'll that's tell you, that's I it. You, you go out there, you grab the victim, and you come back. Because they even taught us uh, in a stupid lake that you had to punch somebody in the jaw to knock them out if they were giving you trouble. I might do that with Al. I literally might do that with Al. That's cool. Yeah. Someone's playing all around too much. Knock their ass out and no, get them on shore. And, the and thing, then they don't drag you down, too. You got a shark biting you. A lifeguard swims out and punches you in the jaw. Breaks the tooth out. And don't believe that stuff about... What a day I'm having! Shark and didn't don't believe that much. stuff about punching... Uh, the, Women. The shark. <laughs> Punching the shark in the nose. Your hand's going to slip right into its mouth. Trust yeah. me. Your my, whole hand's gone. I'm taking I mean, his eyeball out. I, I plan this every time I swim. I think I'm putting his thumb. <laughs> I have my thumbs out when I swim. And I just think I'm going to take out his eyeball. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank All you, right, Bonnie. Bye. That's a real lifeguard for you. Robin Fest. 1027. WNEW.